Hello True Believers, welcome to my channel Mr. Miracle Comics. My name is Dave and today we have five more undervalued comic books for us to take a look at. Alright, so I know I haven't done one of these in a while. Sorry guys, you know, life takes over and you know, things can't get done sometimes. Um, it's been a while and I will try and put some of these out as best I can every once in a while. I can't promise to uh, be on the regular like I was before, but uh, I will definitely do my best to put some more of these out. I know it's been a while. Um, so, since it's been a while, I'm sure that you're very interested in what I've got to speculate on today. And um, there's been a lot of rumors and a lot of talk lately about these guys. Dun, dun, the Thunderbolts. Right now, I'm not specking on this comic. This is a comic book that uh, we specced on on this channel quite a few years ago, back when it was a $20 book. $25 is what I think I paid for this guy. Uh, it's definitely seen a significant rise in price since then. Um, I just wanted to bring them up because of this guy uh, again this is not uh, the first or the comic book that I'm speculating on this is one that we speculated on quite a while ago uh, back when it was about a 10 15 dollar book this book has also seen a significant rise in price uh, first appearance of the Red Hulk although to me it's not really his first appearance I mean it is but he's just like a voice coming out of the dark I mean he does show up on the cover and stuff I guess right but it's weird he's not actually he is in it, but he's not actually seen in the book here. So you would say that number two would be his first full appearance. This would be his first cover appearance, first cameo appearance. Regardless, um, not the book we're speculating on. Um, a book I am speculating on is this book. Ah, uh, why? USA Avengers, number one from 2007. Um, so unfortunately... Uh, in March, uh, William Hurt, the actor that was playing Thunderbolt Ross in the MCU, passed away. Uh, great actor. Nothing but good things to say about Mr. Hurt, and it's very unfortunately unfortunate that he passed away. I was thinking, even before that time, that uh, there's a good possibility he was going to have to give up the character, and he would definitely have never been uh, the Red Hulk. They might have put him in, in a voice acting role for him, but he would have never been the Red Hulk. It's one thing to do it when he started out in the MCU in his 50s. It's quite a different thing to try and play a superhero in when you're in your 70s. That would have to be quite physical as the Red Hulk would be. Um, I always thought that they would cast someone else into the Red Hulk role. Um, they can do all that. And, you know, with uh, the MCU really leaning into the whole um, multiverse thing, you could have multiple characters do this. Uh, this book has the first appearance of Robert Maverick as the Red Hulk. Uh, I think this is a pretty strong pick. Uh, if they're going to have a Red Hulk, if they're going to do a Thunderbolts, which, you know, rumor after rumor after rumor keeps coming up that they are, uh, I would say, you know, take a look for Robert Maverick to take on that role in some, in some way, uh, would be my best guess for that one. Um, you can find this book, like I said, it's from 2007. I got this super nice mint copy of this book for $7, I believe, out of my LCS. Um, still can find it online for around that price. Slab, of course, you're going to pay quite a bit more for it because you're going to pay for the slabbing and whatnot. But yeah, you should be able to get this book for somewhere between, you know, $7 to $15, depending on... You know how you feel that day whether you feel like spending a lot of money but do your shopping and i'm sure you can find a, a nice mint copy of this book for around the seven dollars seven dollar mark still um yeah if he does show up as the red hulk i uh, can definitely see this book uh take a quite a nice little jump in price so from 2007 look to pay around the seven to fifteen dollar mark for a mint copy of this book it is usa avengers Number one, first Robert Maverick as the Red Hulk. Awesome. Um, so continuing with that Red Hulk, if it isn't going to be Robert Maverick, I believe that it would be a good chance it could be this gentleman. And it is, uh, his first appearance shows up here in Tales to Astonish, uh, number 61, and that is from 1964. So, good thing we got a Silver Age spec on here, which are few and far between these days. Uh, definitely um, not that many undervalued keys in the Silver Age uh, era. Still, and this has the first appearance of Glenn Talbot. 
Um, so Glenn Talbot, I know he dies in the comics, but um, he could very well be the Red Hulk. There is a storyline in which an alternate reality uh, cable shows up in the comic book MCU and when he sees Glenn Talbot says he's the Red Hulk because in his reality Glenn Talbot not General Ross became the Red Hulk so like I said with Marvel leaning so into this whole multiverse thing it could be multiple different characters that show up as the Red Hulk um, and again it could be Glenn Talbot right um, if he comes in from a different universe that whole Deadpool idea like we are going to get Deadpool in the MCU they've talked about that um, if they pull characters in from the Deadpool sort of universe into the MCU, you know, 616 universe, Red Hulk could come, right? It's a far, it's a little bit of a far out spec, but uh, it's not a bad spec in my opinion. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have brought it up in the show. Um, look to pay somewhere 20 to $50 for a mid-grade copy of this, like a decent mid-grade copy. Um, if you're going to go for the, like a mint mint book, of course, it's a silver age book and tales to astonish is a quite a collected, uh, series. So you're going to pay quite a bit for, uh, you know, a nice really mint copy of it. But, you know, this book is 56 years old. So, you know, when you're looking at mid grades, that's about right, right? There wasn't a whole lot of comic collecting going on in 1964, could go down to your LCS and buy bags and boards and acid-free boxes. None of that sort of uh, product existed back then. So to get this book in any kind of decent condition, mid-grade or not, is pretty good. And to get a mint one is nearly impossible, which is why they're so expensive, right? Um, but looking for a nice, good mid-grade copy, which is still a very collectible grade, looking at 20 to $50 for this guy. Particularly undervalued, in my opinion, Silver Age Key. If Glenn Talbot does show up as the Red Hulk, look to see this book take an amazing jump in price. All right, let's move along. So, number three on our list. And we're going to go some Star Wars. Not a lot of Star uh, cheap specs out there for Star Wars anymore. Um, seems like they're going to start throwing a lot of Star Wars stuff at us. And one of the shows that they're going to throw at us is Dr. Apra. And this has been confirmed. Um, so I'm going to take a character uh, from that, in my opinion, has a, you know, a good probability of showing up in Dr. Apra. And he or they uh, show up here in Darth Vader number five. That's from the first uh, series, volume one. Ooh, look at how shiny. Look at all that reflection on there. Anyway, sorry, uh, so it's from 2015, and it is number five, and it is the first appearance of Aeolin and Morit Astart. Astart? Astar? Astarte? Anyway, um, these two characters, uh, especially when we're talking about Aeolin, uh, were genetically engineered to kill and replace Darth Vader, right? So... Part of Dr. Apra's, you know, group of people, Dr. Silo, uh, who did make her his first appearance in Darth Vader number one. Um, part of the whole storyline that was going on at this point uh, with Dr. Apra showing up two issues earlier was trying to take out Darth Vader, right? And so the characters uh, Aeolin and Morit Astarte uh, showed up as those genetically engineered beings. Like I said, there's not a lot of cheap Star Wars specs out there anymore. Uh, I like this one. This is the Dr. Apra show. Still seems like it's a ways out. Um, right now, of course, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi is playing. Um, they have uh, Cassie Nandor coming up next. Uh, the Acolyte is getting a lot of looking at right now. People are going crazy for all the, the different Darth specs. Darth Revan, Darth, you know, all those older Darths that come up and that they're saying that they're going to show up in the Acolyte. Um, but Dr. Apra kind of off the radar right now, which is always our best time to pick this kind of things up. Um, yeah. And these could very well be two characters that show up in sort of a villain role in the Dr. Apra show. Right. So again, uh, from 2015, it is Darth Vader. Number five, uh, first appearance of Aeolin and more at Astar. Uh, look to pay right now about five to ten dollars for a mint copy of this guy. Totally flying under the radar. Um, again, like Dr. Apra isn't on it, but 
once they start getting those rumors going, once we see that a trailer may be coming soon, we're going to get more filming stuff done and more leaks and more of this. Um, I think it's a good pick right now at the price that you can get it at, right? Maybe it doesn't show up, but you only drop five bucks on it. Didn't show up, didn't work out. Not the worst thing in the world. Lots of the books that we spec on do show up, um, do end up being uh, good speculations. Um, you know, Young Avengers number one, for instance, we speculated on that so long ago. And it turned into, we went from, I think I paid 40 bucks for it at the time. Um, go take a look at the prices of that book now, right? You could have bought it then. And speaking of the Young Avengers, I'm going to bring up um, a Young Avengers spec. Uh, nope, not this one. We already spec'd on this one. We spec'd on this one back when it was five bucks, right? I bought that for my LCS for five bucks. Um, this book has seen a significant rise in price. However, I would pick uh, Young Avengers number five from that series. Okay, this is the second Young Avengers series. Um, it comes from 2013, and it is the first full Young Avengers, the second team of the Young Avengers. So it seems like they're dropping Young Avengers in each one of our little series going on here, right? So far, we've seen Kate Bishop, we've seen Kid Loki, we've seen America Chavez now, right? We've seen Wiccan show up um, again in, uh, you know, the Doctor Strange movies. So there's only two missing from this team, and that's Norvar and Hulking, right? So it seems like this is the team as compared to this guy, right? Which has a lot of the same characters, but a few that haven't shown up yet. So, you know, it's going to be one of these two teams. Either they're going to be here, my Young Avengers, number one, or here, my Young Avengers number five, which is their first full appearance. Um, you can still find this book, man, $3, $5, super mint copy of it, $7 raw, of course, right? Um, but I think, you know, if we see that this is the team that shows up, both of these books are going to take a big jump, right? First cameo, first partial appearance of them is, shows up here, right? First concept of them, first full appearance of them here. Anyway, again, from 2013, it is Young Avengers number five. First full appearance of the second team of the Young Avengers, which seems to me like they're setting up, um, it seems to be setting up more of the second team rather than the first team, in my opinion. And with this one being so cheap compared to this one, which has gone up in price considerably since we first speculated on it way back when. Uh, hopefully you got your copy back when I had, when I was uh, you know putting it up on my videos because phew, it's it, it's not coming down in price. It's going to keep going up and up and up. Anyway, here we have uh, the second team's first full appearance. And you can, say, like I said, you can find this guy $3 to $10 for a mid copy uh, would be about the price range that I would be looking at pay for this one uh yeah good pick i think anyway let's move on to pick number five so pick number five comes from 1990 and there's a lot of people out there that like my uh older picks um although we're getting a lot more of the newer characters put into stuff that seems to have their appearances getting a rise uh there still are some bronze age some silver age uh beauties out there to pick up and i am going to pick up from 1990 the new warriors number two now i know y'all just looked at me like what this guy's nuts he thinks that the new warriors number two however this has the first uh, appearance of a character called midnight's fire right you can see right there who is midnight's fire and why midnight's fire because midnight's fire became a member of the ten rings right with shang chi uh, being such a big success uh the ten rings are going to uh, continue on um there's going to be more shang chi movies they already like even before that one was released they started to say yeah we're going to have an another one of these movie was great fully deserves to have a second movie coming out uh, they're obviously going to expand on the ten rings who's in the ten rings and i think uh, midnight fire good choice uh possibly for showing up as a member of the ten rings now we all saw what happened um uh when uh uh razor fist right when the first razor fist showed up which was masters of kung fu number 29 that book went from 
dollar bin fodder like to quite a bit like you made copies of that book over a hundred bucks now right so if this guy shows up as a ten rings uh character like nobody even most people wouldn't have even known who razor fist was i was like oh yeah that guy with the sword hand right like i hadn't thought about that character in years until he showed up in a movie trailer right or as a rumor in a movie trailer and that book saw a big jump so i can ser seriously see this book uh also taking a serious jump now this book from 1990 in even in absolute mint condition you can find this book for less than ten dollars um of course raw always raw and more likely you're going to find it for you know the three to five dollar range uh, i pulled this one out of my lcs i believe for a buck 99 uh it is in really nice shape i'm sorry i got such a crinkly bag on there to show you but um it is uh quite in decent shape and yeah if midnight fire is one of the characters that show up as the 10 rings this book will definitely jump up from the three dollar mark to you know a 30 dollar mark possibly more um think it's a good pick to put into your collection now uh before they get filming before we see a rumor before we see a trailer or anything like that try and find as many of the 10 rings characters as you possibly can as it is, is would be my advice for uh what you can do here right before anything gets advertised before the fomo sets in and people start jumping all over it and anybody that has this in their collection decides to go and put it on ebay for 50 times what they paid for it right anyway so from 1990 uh look to pay ten dollars or less for a mint copy of this it is the new warriors number two and first appearance of midnight's fire who is a member of the ten rings i think it's a good spec uh, especially at the price point you can get it for right now so that's been our five i am glad to put out a video glad that uh you know a lot of people have been asking me for it asking uh, can you put out one can you put a one so had a little bit of time got my uh ducks in a row and uh, put together a video for everybody today anyways fantastic this has been mr miracle comics my name is dave and reminding you you know new comic book days are wednesday but every day is old comic book day all right we'll see you next video this has been mr miracle comics you guys have a good one